Hi everyone, just going to do a quick video on dropper post service. This one happens to be a Bontrager drop line, so it's going to be different for everybody. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to go through a quick service, how to take it apart, lubricate it and put it back together. So stick with me and I'll show you how to do it. Thanks. Okay guys, the first thing you're wanting, going to want to do is grab an 8 mil, 8 mil Allen wrench and it just fits right in the end here. There's an opening for the 8 mil, just slides, just slides right in and then once you have that, Okay, so once you have it in the stand, just crack this, turn it counterclockwise clockwise like you normally would, and then it just threads right out. So once you have once you have the 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 end cap off, there are two little bolts, pinch bolts in the side here that you need to loosen. So once you have your end cap off guys, you can go ahead and unscrew this. You just need to give it a firm. It's only supposed to be put on hand tight. So unthread this all the way. And then you can just pull it right out guys. And then you can see from there that you'll see all that white grease on it. This isn't actually that bad because I didn't service it too long ago, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some new stuff on it. I'm gonna clean it all up and then uh, we'll go from there. All right guys, once you have it out of the dropper post body, you can see you're gonna need to clean up all the old grease. This grease actually isn't as bad as I thought it would be and you're also gonna need to do inside there as well. So um, best bet for that is to just drop it into here. Okay guys, yeah, once you have it off, just get yourself a rag and clean all that old grease off. Make sure you get under everything really good get your shim, get that nice and clean, slide it out. Um, I don't recommend trying to take this collar off. It um, can damage the keyed areas here. You can see there's some areas that are keyed, almost chamfered. Um, so you don't want to wreck those, right? So uh, just leave it on. Give everything a really good thorough cleaning. You can even get yourself a Q-tip and just get in underneath that collar. You can see what just came off that. So just get a Q-tip, just do a couple passes with it. Get the bulk of it out. You can take the rubber part off, that rubber, uh, your rubber seal, your rubber plunger, clean that clean this part here, clean everything up really good. Make sure that's back on there. And then you're going to take your grease and you're going to grease everything up. You're going to want to squirt something under your, uh, your collar, grease it up there and grease in these keyed areas as well. And then you're going to want to put some grease inside the seat post body as well. So, and don't forget to clean that out as well. So once you have your uh, body, all, your uh, dropper post body all cleaned out, you can go ahead and start lubing everything up and putting it back together. So again, you're going to want to take your lube and you're wanna, going to get it under that collar and you're going to get one of these keyed it on your keyed areas here on the dropper and then you're going to want to get it in on the body and uh, lubricate it liberally but not to excess. So, Okay guys, I got it all lubed up. I got all the keys lubed up. I got inside the collar lubed up. I'm going to drop some lube in here right now. And then we can then we can start putting it back together. So the lube's not coming out of the the the, the squeeze bottle anymore. Good. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Normally, I would not be getting this dirty. So. At this point when you're putting it back together you want to make sure that the back of the seat post is lined up with the back of the, the seat post body, right? So just be aware of that.
you're going to have to wiggle it. It can be a little tricky, but you'll have to wiggle it and it will want to pop back in. You just got to maneuver it around, that's all. Like I said, just make sure that the back of the seat post is lined up with the, it's facing the right way before you put it all back together. So, And then you just want to screw this back down. So now you're going to put your, now you're going to put your end cap back on. Um, don't forget to put your two little screws back in. Very important. I don't know if the camera is going to focus on that. There you go. So those two little uh, two mil screws that go back in your end cap. You're better off to leave it down here so that you can use the angle of the seat post to so the screws aren't dropping out all the time. Don't screw one down all the way, kind of go back and forth so that this sits straight and one's not pulling it one way. Okay, slide it back up and then you're going to screw it back in. You can go by hand for a little while and then you're going to have to grab your tool. Again, this doesn't, this doesn't have to be tightened down excessively, it's just more a hand tight. And you're done. That's it. That's a quick, uh, easy, very serviceable dropper post. Um, if you're working with a reverb or something like that, or a, one with an air chamber in it, it is going to be different and keep that in mind. So this is one of the most serviceable posts that I've ever worked with. As you can see, very easy to do. So, And we'll just give it a quick check to make sure it worked. And there you go. So yeah, just a quick little uh, maintenance tip and a little how-to. So I hope it helps you out. If you're uh, working on this type of dropper post, I hope what I uh, showed you will come in handy. Thanks everybody, have a great day.